Hi, this is Court, and I will be continuing on what is slowly turning into a tutorial series on narrow and vowel type bases and how you can make them. And I'm going to continue by one, finishing up the patch we started last time, and then applying the same concepts to a new patch in an FM synthesizer. This instance is going to be Operator. Alright, so first thing we need to do is add some sustain to this, because we didn't have that last time, so we can't hold out notes. Oops. See, they have an ending to them. So, anyway. Just go into sustain mode, and then we're just going to pick out an interesting cycle. That nah, sounds like it loops. Alright, then we need a release. Then we're just going to go into our uh, filter, or global, and we're just going to set the release on the volume at full, so that way we always hear the full amount of the sound, and then give it one voice so we're not accidentally playing chords. There's all kind of interesting things we can do with pitch bends and stuff in there. But anyway, moving on. So now we're going to apply the same concepts to operator. So what we did last time is we started with sort of like this vowel-like sound, and then we built extra harmonics using triangle waves and FM synthesis, and we eventually fed this low pitch sine wave into the fundamental to get our sort of growl-like sound. So we're just going to try the same thing in operator. So first of all, let's set up our routing correctly so everything works. So we have our bass oscillator and we're feeding in C and B into it and then D is going to be our low pitch sine wave. All right, it's all looking good. Going to turn up the tone so it's a little bit sharper and we'll just jump into it. So first let's make our little triangle wave that patches into it. Turn up the level, go into the envelope. <laughs> Sounds cool. Now let's add our upper pitched harmonic. Uh, let's make this one a triangle wave also. There's upper pitched. Maybe that's a little high. Sounds kind of cool. Build a little envelope for it. It's kind of sounding yaoi. Remember how I talked about last time you kind of want like a little tail end on your harmonics when you're making a yoi vape? bass so it kind of comes back to the same sorts of timbres and then it's as easy as we're just going to drop in our sine wave to the fundamental so let's turn up the level all right sounding cool i'll give this a little attack all right so one thing that we're not able to do with this that we were doing last time is last time Remember, we had a very low pitch sine wave. And so the way these work is one is the fundamental note that you're playing on the keyboard, and 0.5 is the note that's being fed into it via FM synthesis. If you notice in our other patch, we fed in a very low pitch sine wave at 0.125 to 1 ratio to the fundamental harmonic. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull down the pitch of the entire synth, and then we're just going to pitch everything up so that way the fundamental or not the fundamental, but the harmonic we're feeding in, is um, at a lower ratio. And remember, so these are ratio of pitches. So 1 to 2 means octave higher, 2 to 4 means octave higher, 4 to 8 means octave higher. So we just need to double the numbers and keep this bass pitch that we're feeding in the same. Sounds like it could be dropped another pitch. Oops. So let's see. Still sounding a little bit sharp. That's starting to sound right. And there we go. We have our own little vowel patch and we'll just pull in this EQ so that we can compare them to each other. And right here, we can see the harmonics moving, just like in our original patch with our EQ modulation. And then let's hear it compared to the other bass. Ah, there's a little volume difference. I'll turn this one down. And there we go. We have another Yoi bass just made in a simpler way through FM synthesis.